happy Friday. I feel pretty good. I feel pretty healthy. I've been dealing with some situations, like I was saying yesterday, that um, I didn't realize was attacking my health like it was. I'm having chest pains and my sleeping environment is not the best. Definitely not my beauty rest bed, but I made some decisions and cut some things out yesterday and found out that I had more time. I was able to do some things that I wanted to do. Sometimes we don't know the things that's keeping us bound. You're hanging out with the girls and everything, but you can't get stuff done. Hanging out with the girls shouldn't be an everyday thing. I was able to get my car clean, which I love that. I'm clean free. Still got to finish it. I think I'm going to do the seats myself instead of paying somebody to do it. So now that I have time. <laughs> Anyway, I want y'all to look at um, the things in your life. Do you have enough time? Is it stressing you to the point where you can't do what you want to do, do the things that bring you joy? Because if you're not bringing joy, you run around here in heart attack mode. Because if life is not enjoyable, you'll get burned out. I had cases on cases on cases piled up. I bought lunch, had it delivered, and I sat there in my office all day. And I worked on those cases, and I knocked out all of them before. So this morning, all I have is four cases to look at when I go in there, besides the, the new to keep coming back to the same old mess, the same old drama, the same old anything in your life, it just burns you out. The fact that I don't have to come back to all that mess on my desk anymore, I can breathe. Come back to, I got in a clean car this morning. I used to take a young lady home and we have some conversations and just be enjoying ourselves. But then I get home, I'm tired. My schoolwork, getting behind because I'm too sleepy to see it. So, some things we need to take in moderation. Speaking of my schoolwork, I got it almost caught up. What I like to be is a week ahead. When you get that, I ain't gonna have to stress on that. But tonight, I have two. I don't want to put it out there and, and, and spoil it, but tonight I have something very special I have to do, so therefore, I need to take time out to honor that. Like I said, I was going through some things yesterday. My mind, my heart was just in turmoil. Because you always want to know whether you made the right decision. Especially when you're counseling somebody. It's not so much casting them out and never see them in again or, you know, because we always supposed to at least leave a window open for forgiveness. But when the word and everything starts coming to you to confirm your decision, it makes you feel better. Last night, about nine o'clock, Love called me. Now, who was that? Love is anybody that calls you and speaks life to you. Just the sound of their voice just sets the atmosphere right. Because they're calling with the Spirit of God. Out of the blue, nine o'clock. I was like, nine o'clock. 
don't even answer my phone after after seven. Because my grandfather used to teach me that anybody that call you, especially a man, they call you after seven o'clock. That's a booty call. And that's what I teach my daughter to. But I know this one and I answered the phone and it was good because It felt good to hear a loving spirit. Anyway, I'm going to jump on this free. Oh, my God. This is always a slowdown. But you know what? I'm not going to stress this morning because I have enough time to take my time and get there. I don't have to rush this morning because I'm not running around trying to do other things other than get myself to work this morning. My friend got blessed. And I'm celebrating that. In the fact that I have time. I mean, I enjoy spending time with her, taking her to work or whatever. But, like I said, you don't know. Sometimes you're creating your own hell. Creating your own bondage. So I'm going to sit here and put me some gospel music on and get ready for this evening. I don't want to spoil it, but I'm getting ready for this evening and I'm going to have a good day and I want y'all to stay blessed.